another day in the life of a bootstrap real estate investor. And uh, when I say bootstrap, I mean just bare bones, bare minimum of just making things happen daily. And um, I, got a, I got a request from someone. They asked me about um, checklists. I had made a post about um, how my, my daily checklists have um, become integrated into part of who I am. and They just become you know, second nature to me. And they asked if I had a daily checklist. And while I don't necessarily have a, da a daily checklist per se that's available ready for everybody, I'll share with you my daily routine so you can see kind of what my checklist actually is. Because I do have a checklist, but I don't have a checklist. And I'm gonna share with you um, exactly what that is. And so I went through a program a while back, um, recently actually, a whole like lot longer, um, called Wake Up Warrior. And uh, wear this wristband with this little wristband here to uh, to remind me of that. And one of the things that uh, it was founded by Garrett White, and uh, Garrett White talks about the core, the core four, the daily core four, and it's being able to go over these four core areas of body, being, balance, and business. And so every single day, I do uh, tasks within the those four areas to uh, to keep myself, you know, fit. Um, on point with my family, on point spiritually, and also on point with my business. And let me show you what this looks like. So every single day, this is my checklist, my core four. I, the whole thing is core four before you hit the door to go to war. And so every single morning before eight o'clock, this is what I do. So I, for food, I have a green smoothie every morning. I, I go to the gym, I work out, I meditate. Um, I write some, I, I I write down some uh, my memoirs. Basically, it's my own personal revelation and insight that I get, and um, I keep track of that for my posterity and for myself, a partner. I do a little message to my family. Um, in business, I discover a new item and then I declare it on Facebook, which is why you see a lot of uh, posts that I have in early in the morning. Those are something that I just I learned that day and I want to share it. And that's just one of the things that I do. It keeps my mind sharp and fresh. And then um, I also. Have a kind of a calendar, and I write down my daily revelations and my associated with that re with those revelations. Now that's just me personally. That's just what I do. Now inside my business here, um, I'm always I'm learning something new daily, and I'm also declaring what I've learned daily. I want to be able to um, to get that content out. But when it comes down to, to my standards, here, I don't know if you see this. I also have weekly standards. So again, my body being in balance in business. But this is this is about business here. So you can see here that. Weekly, my thing is to call five new prospects a day and to mail out weekly. So I have mailings that I want to do, and then I also have a goal of hitting five prospects a day. Now, I'll be completely transparent with you. Let me actually show you here. I have my my leads. I should have probably pulled this out prior to this, but um, we'll just go ahead and just pull the whole folder out here. That's what we'll do. And so I'm going to show you what it looks like. My this is a this is a sheet that I that I use. So in March, this is you know real time numbers here. You can see that in the first week of March, I only called three people. Uh, nothing for that second week was a complete blank. Uh, last week was or no two weeks ago, I called nine people. These are all new sellers. So like when I say I call people, um, these are these are sellers specifically. And you'll see you'll get the. Idea. I don't track buyers. I only track sellers that I talk to. Um, and so some weeks are going to be completely skewed because I'm going to have blanks. And, that, and the reason for that is because I actually acquired a property. And if the week is blank, that means that I was heavily working on uh, finding a buyer or a renter for a property that I acquired. And I'll show you that here. So this week I acquired a property in Oroville. Didn't make any phone calls because I was so busy trying to rent that thing out. Um, here. So my appointments basically is so, so these are my my contacts. These are any any you know outcomes that happen. These are appointments that I set, and then this is any written offers that I have on those properties. These are contracts, and then it's closed. Uh, you can see here I closed one transaction on whatever fourteenth uh, for for three thousand dollars. But check it out. So last last week I made five phone calls on Monday, and then Wednesday I went and saw a property on Maple. So I, I actually go back up to the top here. Appointments, written offers, contracts closed. So on Wednesday, the appointment, written offer on it, and I contracted all that same day. And then you go back down to, um, I actually closed it that week as well. So I bought it, or actually I didn't buy it, I wholesaled this one. I was actually in the middle of this one. This was a, uh, um, uh, this was a seller finance um, 
that I that I was in the middle of and wholesale wholesaled in my position out of that one. But anyway, as you see here, I made dollars on it. And uh, here we go for yesterday. Only two phone calls. Well, I'm back at it again, and just wanted to give you an idea that see, I'm my goal is five a day, and clearly I'm not hitting that. That's not um, that's not what I'm doing, but. Let me show you here. So if we go to my September, where's my seller sheets at? I had these things handy. Um, I must have them somewhere else um, because I don't have them under my lead sheets. But anyway, I'll, there have been months where I have gone through this and I've made, oh, ha, ha, here we go. Let me get all this stuff out of here. So this is all live month I'm tracking so January um, I'm looking at all you know what I've what I've mailed out all my all my contacts all my numbers um, December again same thing and I look at you know 28 contacts four appointments two offers nothing close um, November sucked the, I hit November really hard the first couple of days and then it just kind of went out and again going back to November I bought a problem got a property on the contract owned it um, first couple of days of November and tried all month to get that thing sold. Finally sold it December 5th, um, but you know, it's a one-man shop. It, that took a lot of my priority because, you know, a lot of my focus because I wanted to get that thing sold. October, my call. So again, not, not as consistent as I, as I want to be. Here we go. This is September. A um, lot better in September, hitting it up. Uh, you can see I picked up some properties here, made some money there, twenty-four thousand dollars in uh, in September, August, same thing, just making some you know phone calls, looking at. As far as checklists go, I don't necessarily have a checklist, but I do have kind of like a lead tracking sheet. I'll make that available. I'll put that on the top of the um, under like downloads and stuff like that, and uh, you guys can use that. Feel free to alter it however you want. But again, my goal, as you can see, is five a day, and that's new conversations with sellers. I, again, I don't count my buyer's conversations. Um, not as consistent as I want to be, but that's my goal, and that's what I'm working towards. As long as I'm making money, I'm okay. But again, I don't want to let the, you know, let my hands off the reins here. I want to make sure that I'm still driving towards that goal of, uh, of producing every single month. So, if you have any other questions or any other videos you'd like me to shoot, let me know. If not, this is a, you know, Ryan Nickel, a day in the life of just a regular bootstrap real estate investor. Hey, thanks for joining, Walter.